Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So this is just a quick little vampire crab paludarium build. Um, it's probably the cheapest way to do it, a little bit different to the previous ones I've done. Um, the tank's 6 gallon or 26 liters, 42 by 25 by 25 centimeters, or 16 and a bit inches by 9 by 9. Uh, it's nice and simple, it's about as cheap as you can do it. So essentially I'm just using some river rocks, a little bit of foam down to prevent uh, any extra scratching. This tank's already pretty rough but I'll try to keep it in as good condition as I can. I originally found this tank so that's why it looks like this. Um, so yeah, just build up the base how you like it. This section here will separate the water on the left from the land on the right and this will have water underneath. So this is one of the easiest ways to do it, especially if you need to heat your tank. So basically just adding in some rocks to create a barrier and you can do this however you like. Uh, I'm keeping it pretty basic. Okay, so that's what I've come up with. Uh, nothing special, but it works pretty well. You'll see at the end it'll look a lot better. Anyway, for the next step, now we can add the uh, drainage layer. So for this, we're just gonna use some clay balls. You can use lava rock. Uh, I find clay balls the best because they're the cheapest and you can get them pretty much anywhere. Uh, once you've done that, just make sure you build up the layer enough so you can keep the soil on top without it sitting in the water. So. I'm building mine just a little bit higher than the rock section because I want a tiny little slope. Then add some uh, weed matting on top to keep the soil out of the clay balls and the plant roots as well. So you can use window screening, uh, just layer it up a couple of times to make the holes smaller, but I find weed matting is the best. So that's what I've come up with so far. Next we'll just add some tree roots. So uh, any wood's pretty good for this. Just don't use anything pine, uh, cypress or pine. Those sort of things don't work very well. Um, anything else seems to be okay. Uh, I just put this in and then glue it with some super glue. Uh, you've probably seen this done a million times so I don't need to explain the super glue part. <laughs>
Okay, so that's the scape so far, pretty straightforward. Um, we can add some soil now. Uh, anything organic is good, you don't want fertilizers in there. So I'm just adding this, uh, it's going to be quite shallow, I'm not planting any demanding plants in there, so it doesn't need to be uh, really deep. Now just to finish it off with a couple of extra pieces of hardscape, again no uh, pine. I had this in my last tank, it worked really well so it's going back in for this one. Crabs seem to really like it. Okay, so that's the scape. Now to add the substrate for the water section. So for this, I'm just using some 4 mil gravel, uh, nothing crazy. I have used sand in the past, but it clogs up the filter a lot, so we're going back to gravel. Uh, 4 mil gravel capped with 1 mil. Uh, a little bit of mixing, not a big deal. Now for the one mil stuff, I also use this to fill in any other gaps. As you'll see here, like this is the back of the tank, so it doesn't need to look pretty. Uh, but if you're gonna add baby vampire crabs, it's good to fill in as many holes as you can because they will find their way in and you don't want them getting stuck. Otherwise they will drown because they can't swim and they do need to come up for air. Okay, so that is the water section and the land section complete. So now to add some plants to the land section. Um, I'm just using really basic this time. I'll leave uh, the names in the description and on the screen. Just some of the common ones you see in most other builds. I'm going quite scarce for this because I want a lot of moss. Uh, vampire crabs generally love moss, especially the babies. So that's gonna be the priority for this build. Uh, moss is also easy to get.
Okay, so time to add the moss. Uh, I've just collected this from the forest with a few leaves as well. Uh, you'll see I've also added a small filter. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And a small light, uh, just as cheap as possible. Okay, now we can start putting the moss in. Again, I've just got standard moss here from the forest. I'm not 100% sure what type. A small piece of ivy. I believe it's ivy off the top of my head. And we'll just start planting away. Okay, so the last thing for the water section, I'm not planting any plants this time, so it's just going to be some moss balls. So I've just broken these up and I'll just wedge them into the cracks. I've done this a few times in the past, it works really well. Again, this tank's pretty scratched, so you can see that on the glass here, but it's no big deal, it's just a grow out tank. As well as the moss, I'm going to add some Salvinia floating plants, and that will be it for the water section. Okay, now we can fill it up. So this is important, once you fill your tank, you need to make sure you're only filling it enough for your filter to work and not to go into the soil. So just make sure you fill it a little bit below the drainage layer so that the water sits below the soil and the soil can drain into the drainage layer when you water it. So something like that, you can see it's just below and it won't get uh, too damp. So if you fill your water too full, uh, you're going to get uh, plants will start rotting from root rot. Anyway, that wraps up this video. I hope you found it useful. Super simple, super cheap, and you'll keep plenty of crabs happy in here. Or whatever other creatures you want to have. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.